There's a big selection of films coming up on BBC Two. Raquel Welch plays the rough, tough game of roller derby in Kansas City Bomber. Guess we're going to be at each other's throats for a while. I suppose. In the women's room, Lee Remick is a 50s college girl finding out her husband's reaction to the news of her pregnancy. You just ruined my life, you realize that? And soon the darkness, and Michelle Latrice is about to discover that sunbathing on a lonely road is not necessarily a safe thing to do when there's a maniac on the prowl. In Up the Sandbox, Barbara Streisand's problem is only her husband. Don't touch me. Don't. You touched me. And down Mexico way, John Mills stars as a priest defying outlaw Dirk Bogard in The Singer, Not the Song. We must all be prepared to suffer for what we believe in, including priests. Priests most of all. Action and adventure, big names, big films, coming up on BBC Two. And now the only conventional Hollywood biography that we're bringing you this weekend, the Benny Goodman story, which Hump has been called the most watchable of these Hollywood epics. Do you think so? Uh, I think so. Well, I don't know. I, I love them all. I saw them all when they first came out. The Fabulous Dorsey's Glenn, Glenn Miller story. And I saw them all about six or seven times, which is a bit of a painful experience, you know, waiting for the nice jazz bits, of which there's a, there are a lot in this film. Uh, by the sixth or seventh time, I was ready to strangle Benny's uh, old mama who is a bit of a pain. But it's uh, enormous fun. If you overlook the anachronisms, of which there are a lot, and also the uh, whopping great Hollywood cliches, the one about uh, the old music teacher, you know, being horrified that his young pupil was uh, moving towards ragtime music. And the narrative devices like picking up uh, Lionel Hampton uh, in the cafe. That's where right, yes. Mind you, they're good. They make, see, it's easy to be pompous about them, but they make much better movies if you, if you put in a little bit of uh, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's, of course, the, the whopping great cliche at the end, which always amuses me, which is the implication that the Carnegie Hall was built with a sort of ready-made audience of blue-rinsed ladies in mink stoles and elderly diplomats in monkey suits kind of screwed into their seats, and that they were there all the time, whatever the, the bill was likely to be. And, uh, and halfway through a jazz concert, they start reluctantly tapping their feet. Lovely, <laughs> lovely stuff. Well, watch out, because here it comes, the Benny Goodman story. And if you don't like it, oh, don't be that way.